in this video i'm going to explain in as simple words as possible as what is the difference between a rest and a restful api before i describe the difference let's have a quick look as what is meant by rest rest stands for representational state transfer now this abbreviation sounds a bit complicated but in essence these are just set of four constraints. So REST basically means that from client to server, there will be some constraints which need to be followed by the API. The first constraint is that the API should work in a client server environment. So this client and server need boundaries for how they operate which one will be a client and which one will be a server the client is the one who makes request and the server is the one which receives and processes the request and then sends the response back the second constraint is stateless server needs to be able to process messages they receive from the client in order to do this, every request a server receives should have the necessary information required for the server to work so that the server doesn't have to go back again and again to get the information from the client. Third constraint is that the API must be HTTP aware. What it means is that whatever request client is sending should follow the HTTP verbs like get, put, post, and delete. All the resources should always be referred as URIs or Uniform Resource Identifier. And then whatever response server sends to the client should be HTTP, that is, that it should have a status and a body. Fourth constraint the API should follow is caching. Client need to be able to cache representations because of statelessness that is possible in a RESTful API. Every representation should be self-descriptive so that client doesn't have to go back to the server again and again. This is what we call a REST. Any API which follows above a REST constraint is called as REST API or REST full API. So as far as the API is concerned, there is no difference between the two. There are some people who think that if any API follow any one or two or three constraints, that is a REST API and the API which follows all these four constraints is RESTful API. But the overwhelming majority thinks that as far as any API follows all of these constraints is a RESTful API or REST API. So in my opinion, all you need to remember is what exactly is the REST because it is a standard because it is based on constraints. So the, the API should be following this standard because what the aim of this whole exercise is, is to make the web standardize because this enables two different applications to talk to each other on the web. I hope that you found this useful. If you have any feedback, then please put it in the comment section. Thank you very much.